Hey everyone, John Ross here. Since Halloween is coming up this week, I thought it would be the perfect time to talk about everything wrong with John Carpenter's 1978 horror film, Halloween. And I even got the shirt on to prove that I'm a really big fan. Even though this is considered one of the best horror films of all time, there's a lot of things in it that don't make any sense. First off, how has the Myers house been abandoned for 15 years in this swanky ass little suburb? Every other house on the street has freshly cut grass, perfectly painted shutters, it's the end of October and there's not a damn leaf on the ground. We all know a busted old house like this in a fancy neighborhood would be featured on Flip or Flop on HTTV in no time. There's also the fact that murderer Michael Myers walks around in broad daylight without ever getting caught. It almost makes no sense, but then you remember that white privilege does exist. Also, why are these children being forced to sit inside with their babysitters on Halloween night? I mean, what kind of parents do that? Imagine you're 10 years old, your parents ditch you on Halloween and make you stay home with your extremely sexually active babysitter, and then some crazy guy comes to murder you. I would be pretty pissed off. Even with all this controversy, Halloween is still one of my favorite horror movies. Shout out Jamie Lee Curtis, even though we all know you from the Activity commercials now, you did a great job with this movie. Have a great Halloween and make sure to watch out for creepy guys in masks this Thursday night.